Hi my amazing Capricorns, welcome to my channel Simone Speaks. This is going to be a freestyle reading for the 21st to 31st of May, the very very middle to the end of May guys. So Capricorns, you guys have really really been so good to me and I want to just relay back the love to you guys and say thank you so much for being subscribers of my channel, thank you so much for all the viewership. Um, it kind of came out of left field Capricorns, you know, I mean, the beginning of May, I really gave it my all, um, you know, I've really been busy my, myself, and I am Scorpio Sun, I'm Cancer Rising and Libra Moon, and um, I've just seen an overflow of comments and good emails from you guys, and you know, I will only tell you Capricorns the truth, you know, this is the reason why I feel we've, we've really connected Capricorns is because at least on my channel, I do feel that um, I don't sugarcoat anything, you know? And when I read for you guys, it may be harsh, it may be kind of sad or confusing at times, but you know what? It's the truth. So um, once again, thank you so much, guys. And um, let's go ahead and pull the cards. If you guys don't know already, I do offer private readings. So my website's below, my email's below. If you would like to get a private reading from me, I would love to help you. And... Um, I'm kind of chuckling Capricorn because <laughs> automatically I do see the King of Cups in reverse, all right? And um, I don't know what it is, but you and Scorpio have had some kind of like love affair all month. Um, seriously, I mean, I don't think there's been any other month that I've, there's like, there's never been a month where I've not read for you guys and seen Scorpio like in your cards like ever <laughs> so you and Scorpio do have um quite a thing going on so let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys now to close off May um I do read comments guys I do read the comments I do read the comments and I did see that a lot of you guys were saying how you were played by a Scorpio or an Aries or a Virgo um you know and uh if you are still messing with a Scorpio or having to deal with a Scorpio, uh, check that video out, okay? Like, don't be afraid to watch the Scorpio video because I do feel that that video was quite self-explanatory. And um, I'm sure a lot of you Capricorns will find some things quite interesting in that video. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We're in, we're in Gemini season now. Next door to Leo and Cancer season. These came out of Tara season, guys, so I do expect a lot of things to be going on, you know, as I love to say, shaping and shifting here. So right now I'm pulling the last card for your clarifying cards or, well, additional energy cards, so to speak. So Capricorn, let's see what we have for the end of May. Hmm. Okay. Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles. The Empress in Reverse, Princess of Pentacles Upright. So we do have two earth sign uh, cards here, Pentacles, Earth, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, so like yourself. Uh, I do see lots of things here with um, making plans either to embark on a new journey, I should say, like you want to go in a different direction, it seems like with life, you want to have more fun, you want to travel more, you want to be around friends more. But I do feel for some reason that you Capricorns are quite tired of something. I mean, even the way I'm talking on the video, on the camera here, it feels like this energy of like, oh, here we go again. You know, it's that kind of energy. So let's look into your cards pretty deep, Capricorn. I want to see exactly what's going on with you guys. Okay, so the first four cards we have here is King of Cups in Reverse. That's the card that made me laugh. Uh, Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, huh? The High Priestess is your crowning energy, the High Priestess. So, <laughs> you Capricorns make me laugh. Okay, so Capricorns, I do feel here very strongly that uh, if you feel like someone's playing you, all right, that's the best way I can put it. If you feel like someone's playing you, um, you're correct, okay? You're correct. And uh, I do feel like closing down uh, May. Why am I saying closing down? Okay. For some reason, they want me to say closing down May. Uh, there is definitely energy here of whatever's hidden 
okay whatever's hidden you see it okay if someone is lying to you uh, you're noticing it okay if someone is playing you you're noticing it all right the high priestess is a super intuitive card um and you know water signs are normally known for being very very intuitive so once again i feel that there's water here i always feel water for you guys it's so funny to me it never goes away and um, the last couple of cards we have here is Five of Swords, Four of Cups in Reverse. So here it is, here it is, here it is, Capricorn. So you're definitely turning your back on somebody, okay? I, I feel for some reason here that whatever game somebody played on you, Capricorn, I do feel like it's, it's melancholy because I do feel that whatever game someone played on you, Capricorn, you do realize that they play this game on you, like you do get it now. And I feel for some reason that it's kind of bittersweet because it's like one side of it, you know, one side of your heart, Capricorn, is saying, you know, I'm happy that I know the truth. I'm happy that I, you know, have self-respect. And then the other half of your heart, I feel here, like directly is saying, you know, how dare this person do this to me? How can they do this to me? So it's the energy of like, you know the truth now like you're if you don't know the full story you're gonna know the full story like little by little spirit saying here you will know the truth you know you will get your answers um and i feel for a lot of you guys it could be directly from this person i don't know if this person's gonna come back and tell you but your last card is nine of cups okay and the nine of cups you actually have twice here you have the nine of cups over here you have nine of cups over here so I do feel for you Capricorns, the Nine of Cups here is talking about getting an answer, okay? These two cards are screaming, uh, getting answers, getting answers to something that, that has bothered you. So whatever has bothered you, Capricorn, you're going to get answers to it. Now, the sad part about it is, once again, this bittersweet energy I feel Capricorn for you guys. And that's the reason why I'm talking like this, you know, as you can hear the tone of my voice, the way I'm talking is like, oh, here we go again, right? So what I feel for you Capricorns is that, see, water again, the blue, blue crystal, see, water again. I, I do feel that it, this is, this is a, this is a relief for you. This is happy. Um, you know, you're happy that you know the truth or you're happy that you're going to get the truth. But at the same time, a part of you is sad. A part of you is wishing for better. You know, even maybe a part of you, maybe like a little slice of you Capricorn is, 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 is hoping, you know, hoping that this person can turn around. Um, but I do feel there's some kind of like block, some kind of like thin wall, just a thin wall between you and this person. Okay. Um, I do see here that a lot of you guys are really, really, like, attracted to this person, okay? Um, really attracted to this person, like this person a lot. Um, but what I'm hearing here is that there's an ultimatum, okay? There's an ultimatum on the table here. There's something that is a big turn off for you, okay? That's exactly how I'm getting it. It's a big turn off for you. And when something turns you off, Capricorn, like when something that you really, really hate turns you off, it's really hard to turn the switch back on, okay? For some of you Capricorns, that switch could be lying, could be cheating. I think for a lot of you guys, it's cheating. So if somebody's cheated on you, it's a big, like, red flag. It's a big, like, no-no. So I do get Scorpio energy here. So there definitely could be that a Scorpio has, like messed around and you see how I'm like you see how I'm like my, my hands are going back and forth that's how it feels here like you know something's not right you know something like someone's playing a little game here very suave but this person's very charismatic this person's very like honestly sexy like this person you like Capricorn is very sexy um I just feel I just feel that the it's just it's like a duo I just keep hearing Scorpio Capricorn Scorpio Capricorn Virgo Aries Capricorn Virgo Capricorn Aries so definitely earth fire uh, sorry earth air water major on the water major on the Aries Gemini Libra so fire air water I don't see fellow earth sign just yet but it could be a fellow earth sign okay um now the card I pulled for you Capricorns is the four of cups 
So once again, I feel that it's bittersweet, you know, like you're happy that you have gotten your answers or you're happy that the divine has given you, you know, the permission to move forward with whatever, whatever, with whatever makes you feel better about yourself, whatever makes you feel better about the life you're leave, you're leading, you know, on this planet. It's like something has given you the space and the opportunity Capricorn to move forward in your life and I feel that for a lot of you guys it's kind of like bittersweet because you're moving forward but at the same time you know you're leaving something behind you know you're quite aware that you're leaving this person behind but it just it's not by mistake that you have two good cards here okay your last card is nine of cups nine of cups and I pulled nine of cups again over here so I do want to get an extra card for this. These are the two cards. Okay. Ah, uh, look, look, look. There's Scorpio written all over this. Look at this. These, these, I thought it was two cards, you know. I thought it was two cards that were stuck together. And it came out as three cards. Three cards, Capricorn. Three stinking cards. So... I feel that you've walked away, right? Like you, you, you've settled something. Like you, you've buried something. You've kept it closed away. Like you've walked away from something, some part of whatever I'm reading about for you. Um, like you've walked away from it, but I still get the the Scorpio Death card here. So I'm gonna ask if this is this the actual Scorpio, the same Scorpio, or if this is a new Scorpio, or you know the Death card also could just rep re represent an ending. Um, so I have to look into why that is. So I'm gonna collect these cards over here, and I hope this is resonating so far. Ah, huh, this card. Okay, these two cards are, are left out. Oh, that's weird. So what I get automatically is that someone's not letting go. Someone's not letting go. And, you know, I don't think it's my mistake that, um, once again, the Scorpio video that I just did, all right, earlier tonight, I'm fil I filmed, I started filming on the 21st of May. Now this video is going into the wee hours of the morning. I'm actually recording this video at 2.27 a.m. And, uh, yeah, I am, really, in the morning. And, um, for some reason... For some reason, Capricorn, it's like someone has moved on here, but not completely, not completely. Um, cause 10 of cups, right? 10 of cups is like the end of a cycle. Honestly, I feel like saying a happy ending, like a happy ending, like it's happy. Yeah. It's a happy thing. It's a happy thing. Like look, nine of cups, 10 of cups, ace of wands, ace of wands. So it's happy. It's it's I don't it's not sad. But somebody somebody's still there's somebody hiding from you. I don't know who it is. What is this about? Ace of Pentacles reverse. So what I get what the, the energy that I get from all these cards here, death, three of pentacles. Two of Swords reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Cups upright, Nine of Cups upright, Ace of Wands upright. Okay, what I'm getting, Capricorn, is that there's no communication here. That's why it's so easy to walk away. Either you or the other person. The reason why, okay, whoever it is, whether you or the other person, whoever has been able to walk away, the reason why it's so easy is because there's no communication. So I don't know why this, I don't even know how... I get this from the energy of the cards, but I do, I do, Capricorn. And what I feel here is that with no communication, it's very, very easy to make up stories. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like, if this is not you and this is somebody else, the bottom line here is that because they're not communicating, because they're not letting you in on the secret, you can, you're left to make any observation or uh, story you want <laughs> like which is kind of unfair and that's why I feel that it's bittersweet because it's not like there's really any finality to it I hope that's a word but there's no like finality to it it's not like a final thing 
but yet I have the death card and the ten of cups so why would I why would I be saying that if it's not over like you see what I'm saying why would I say that it's not over when I have two cards that say it's over two cards here say it's over that it's like like that chapter is done so maybe it's not the actual relationship maybe it's not the actual relationship it could actually just be that it's temporary like a temporary pause Capricorn this is very interesting I'm gonna do another spread okay you guys sure are lucky I haven't done this I haven't done this for any other sign yet tonight ace of wands reverse again so not wanting to like move forward like a hundred percent like you've moved forward someone's moved forward but not a hundred percent okay the reason okay oh this is really really crazy all right wow the reason why you haven't like moved forward completely capricorn is because you're waiting for a water sign in this third party to make up their mind just like what i said the reason why you're not moving 100 percent along is because you're waiting for another water sign in this third party relationship to make up their mind it's that simple okay crowning this reading is queen of cups so you you have a feeling that there's a water sign or an air sign libra aquarius gemini scorpio cancer pisces that is like around this person like that you really really like or love even like even love this person you love this person so mm, capricorn you got a lot of choices to make man so in your immediate future huh, whoever okay if this is resonating with you if this is re resonating with you like like card for card i would love to read for you i don't know who you are i don't care who you are i would love to read for you because this is, some, is something that i i really want to like work through okay i don't want to go on a 30 40 minute video because i know people have lives i have a life too <laughs> i'm trying to make this video as short as possible but there's so much going on here capricorn oy vey all right so your immediate future is two of wands you know and the two of wands the two of wands is all about needing to like choose a direction like needing to like finally have the the energy and the space like the emotion more importantly capricorn the emotional space to like move forward in your life and i just feel that somebody's not giving you closure okay that's what i feel here definitely could be an aries okay i feel aries strongly here or taurus 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 and virgo so fire earth so now we're getting fire and earth But I do feel that you Capricorns know that you have to walk away from something, okay? It may not be this person. It's just maybe just a way of life, like maybe a way of living. Maybe the way you do relationships has to change. Okay, Nine of Cups again. Nine of Cups again. So I do feel that... Okay, so the card of yourself, Capricorn, is Nine of Cups. So, so if you're not feeling like emotionally... Okay, so... So Capricorn, if you're not the Capricorn I'm reading for here that is feeling like an emotional loss, then you are the Capricorn who's feeling happy about this ending. It sounds kind of evil, but no, if you're not a Capricorn who sat over this, then you're happy. That's what it's telling me because Nine of Cups is, is pure happiness. So for some of you Capricorns, for some of you Capricorns, you're happy that it's over. Like you're happy that you're released from this relationship. Or this could just be you lying to yourself. <laughs> it could be that you're lying. Like maybe you're putting up a front, but you're really not happy. Oh my God, this is like confusing. Wow, your hopes and fears is eight of swords. So, so yeah, it looks like a lot of you Capricorns are wanting to leave. Why are Capricorns wanting to leave? I'm getting Scorpio energy again. Like leaving a Scorpio? okay spirit told me because it's a third party you don't want to deal with that yeah yeah five of wands good for you capricorn good for you that's why because it's a third party so you don't want to deal with that anymore yeah look you're turning down all those cups that that person's giving you wow really they're telling me really yeah really really so it looks like it looks like you're turning your back from a third party all right, that's all I got, Capricorn. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.